10 minutes ago. Okay, I'm going to put this up from King Valonius. We got legends in the house. Just everybody just click on this profile and follow. There's a, there's a great artist, great human. Thank you so much, Will, for, for asking. How has your, how your projections for the next five to 10 years changed in the last two months? So yeah, I, I had aspired to buy a home, uh, to do a lot more like Hollywood shit. <laughs> and now what I want is water purifiers and like to be able to pitch a tent with the quickness. And probably like, I don't really wanna be packing firearms because those are crazy, but I would like to up my knife handling <laughs> skills. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, my, my projection, look, five, the next five to 10, it honestly hasn't changed very much in terms of the next five to 10 years. The next five to 10 months, radical difference. This year was projected to be a banner year for, for me, um, you know, business-wise. A lot of my business is travel. A lot of my business model is, has been the following. Jump on a plane, go to a place, into a room filled with a lot of people, Breathe aggressively on those people in the form of speech. <laughs> and then hang out in close proximity to said people after the heavy breathing exercise and collect money. <laughs> so, so that business model is on pause right now, much like so much of life right now. Uh, so, so five to 10 months, things are different. And that's why I'm doing this home studio situation. I'll be making some more podcasts soon. And just things I can do from right here, like quarantine-friendly ways of making money uh, and making a living and paying for this nice wallpaper ceiling because it is not cheap, let me tell you. And that's, that's the wall. I don't even want to know what the real wood ceiling would have cost me. This is the wallpaper version. But as far as the next five to 10, as I just kind of riff and think about it in the moment, I think we got some interesting opportunities, Will. Um, not just me, but like we, like capital W, we. So at one of my other Zoom calls today, not to brag, I have a lot of Zoom calls. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm big on Zoom. So it was a climate related call. And uh, you should follow my boy, uh, Up, Upriser, Danielle Giles. Uh, he picked such a unique username, I can't even spell it. How do you spell Upriser? Up, I think it's R H I Z E R. But I'm because I want to show this brother some love because he's so big on the yes, I nailed it. U P R H I Z E R. Follow that account on Instagram. The climate crisis is still here, and so I've been thinking about this moment not just as tragedy but as opportunity. And when I say opportunity, I don't mean like a Jared Kushner esque nepotistic sort of skimming off the top or like eBaying all my Purell kind of opportunity. I, I mean that we are in pain, we are hurting, and, and I am in that we not hurting relative to someone who's really living paycheck to paycheck, who's already in debt, who's not even having a lease with a landlord, but in a sort of week by week hotel living situation. There are so many folks who are really hurting. And with that hurt, there's also opportunity as we pause things to fix things. And so, so many of the excuses to do the big change that we talk about is, well, it's very complicated. You know, we got a lot of jobs at stake and, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of traffic and you can't really shut the machine down to fix the machine. So if you want to reform capitalism while running capitalism, you dig, it's kind of it's kind of impossible, but you know, if ever there comes a time when we shut the machine down, maybe we could get to your big ideas about like a Green New Deal or humane capitalism or like justice re-injected into the criminal justice system. Well, it turns out everything's on pause right now. The machine is down. The gears have ground to a halt, so it is no longer dangerous to stick your hands into those gears and rearrange them. So I am thinking, and I don't have specifics, Will, but I'm thinking about what does it mean to do the real reform? 
because now is, is a time to think about as we restart this engine, how could it be done better? 